excited for this weekend, Sarah? Uh, there's a lot going on this yeah. weekend. We've got the U.S. Open. We've got, we'll have a champ. We assume by Sunday. Yeah, well, well. we hope. <laughs> but we, for sure in the NBA. <laughs> yeah, we've got a game seven tomorrow night. They don't happen very often, but when they do, it's something special. Win or go home. There is no tomorrow. You would expect they would give it their all. Uh, someone that's very familiar with all the feelings of a game seven is three-time champ Bruce Bowen. He tells us just what is going on in a player's head before, during, and after that game. Every year when training camp opens, quarterback battles dominate the conversation. But why wait? Because the best showdown is happening right now in New York, not on the field, but in the office. Ryan Fitzpatrick remains unsigned. And without any offers from other NFL teams this offseason, his only real leverage is a look at the Jets' current roster at quarterback. Rich Samini with more on who blinks first. Thanks, Matthew. Antonio Davis back with us uh, here once again on SportsCenter. What are you noticing about the Cavaliers and what they're doing on pick and rolls that's allowed them to be so successful? Well, Sarah, we've been hearing all you being patient, letting that play happen. Their spacing is great. They have discipline that they hadn't had in previous games. I'm scared for Golden State going into game seven. What? <laughs> Who would have ever thought that was going to be said? <laughs> Expect to see the Cavaliers continue to utilize that method. Two of the six fouls on Steph Curry in game six came when he was guarding LeBron. Matt, you don't go anyway. We're not done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you guys are sitting next time. Right now in a game five or game seven expert, he's laughing at me because I'm he's making fun of me for shivering in here. It's cold, <laughs> Antonio. I don't have a huge suit on. <laughs> he has played in five game sevens in his 13-year NBA career. Give us give us some perspective here. What is it like the day before a game seven? You know, you're, you're kind of walking around and time is... You mentioned you're just sitting there. How much, if any, coaching is going on at that point? Well, once we have practice, everybody leaves that gym. at home but I had a great supporting cast and then when I got to the gym it was like okay left shoe on first right shoe on the next left sock right so I always went left to right it was just sometimes <laughs> <laughs> Antonio Davis getting us that with the really important